Hi, my name is Abhira Bika Ravi Verman and I teach sustainable living. So today you must have watched my earlier videos and today we're going to talk about another uh, important aspect of parenting which is negotiation with children. So uh, why do we need to negotiate? Do we really have to negotiate with our own kids? Uh, could be a question that can crop up in your head. Yes, definitely there is a big need to negotiate with kids because the moment you get into a negotiative mode with a child, the child also learns how to handle uh, critical situations or how to deal with situations as they grow. People are really fast. They lack the uh, patience to uh, listen to somebody else and the way they you know, take up what they are saying and they start uh, working on that. So it's, it's important to teach that to children through our negotiation skills. So how do we do this negotiation and another uh, point that we need to remember while we negotiate with our child is our emotions. How do we handle our emotions or how do we show an emotion when a child says uh, no mom I will not come right now or when you call the child uh, to eat or when you call the child to finish playing and come back uh, to do some homework or something the child might say 5 minutes, 10 minutes, child might say I won't come right now, I, I'm not interested in doing what you're saying, things like that. So how do we handle this? So how this negotiation skills will help us handle such situations is what we're going to see today. To start off with the first point that I will write, I will want to uh, reiterate to all of you is getting your child involved in your conversation. So when a, when a child says I don't want to get up and come right now, don't phrase a question or don't, don't phrase it in a way that you will tell the child uh, get up and come right now, you need to eat, it's dinner time. Instead, phrase it in a slightly different manner by saying how many minutes do you think you are going to take more to finish what you're doing to come for dinner so that could be a positive approach towards asking them to come for dinner than an authoritative method so getting a child involved is an important point uh, you know of uh, conversation and in part of the negotiation so what's next is don't go in a very argumentative uh, mode always go in a in a mode where you are ready to accept what the child also says so the more the parents expect the child to always listen to you it will never happen because a child is also having a you know mind of its own child is able to see so many things around and child also understands that you know they have something which they want to do on their own so when you always expect the child to listen to you it becomes difficult so give in and give in to some of what they say so always don't uh, you know expect everything that you to, you tell or you know listen to or followed instead you take some time to listen to one or two things of what they say and then you try to tell them what you want them to follow and the next thing in negotiation is uh, calm down because when you show your emotion in that spur of the moment when you are really angry or when the child really irritates you what do you what do you do just cut the conversation there go into a place where you know you're alone calm down you know we, we, you must have seen my earlier videos on mindfulness so try to try to think of what are the thoughts that are coming into your head at that particular moment and then go back and start talking to your child. So there you will be avoiding a lot of anger, a lot of emotion which is undue because these emotions shown at that spur of the moment will have a deeper rooting into the child's uh, mind at a later stage. So what's next is uh, there are some times when the child criticizes you like stop nagging me or uh, uh, stop irritating me could be things that the child also tells you so what do you do at this situation if you, if you keep saying something 10 times or 15 times the child really gets irritated it's the same thing which applies to us so somebody keeps telling us something 10 15 times what do we do we get irritated right so it's the same thing applies to a child so how do we stop nagging them and how do we change the way in which we converse with them or try to get our work done as a is, some, is something very important as a parent that we need to learn so use the negotiation skills try to rephrase every time you try to tell them something and the most most important part of negotiation is never negotiate for everything okay while negotiation is a good tool to use with children but don't negotiate for everything like for example safety and health if you try to negotiate there it can have other issues at a later stage so be strict with them at certain things negotiate for certain things and give in for certain things so it's a right balance between uh, you and your child and you could also do one thing if, if as a family uh, you want certain things like for example dinner at 8 or breakfast at 8 in the morning getting up at this time this time sit with your child try to make a timetable or try to ask the child what's the best time you think this 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 activity needs to be done what's the best time you think is play time what's the best time you think is study time what's the best time you think is bedtime 
so when they come out with something on their own and they try to tell you a time more more so they try to follow that they 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 know it's a commitment which they have given and they will try to follow so instead of imposing it on them try to be a friend to them and speak to them and try to create a very very uh, cozy environment for both you and your child so there are other videos that i have posted here do watch them do subscribe to our channel and do wait for more of our videos thank you